Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Mr. G here, and you know what? We're up to Season 5. This is the first episode of Do Try This at Home for Season 5. I've been around these parts for, hmm, six years now. And you know what? This year is going to be pretty cool. I know I've been on a little bit of a break, but you know that happens during the holidays. And there's some new things coming into the mix. Uh, you've probably already seen the debut episode of Compared to What. I hope you all saw it, and I hope you all liked it. If you didn't see it, look it up. It's on my channel. Compared to what? It's a lot of fun. It throws some new things into the mix. But don't fear. There's going to be plenty more Do Try This at Home episodes coming up this year as well. Wow. Six years I've been making these videos. That's hard for me to even believe. And I just wanted to thank all of my fans out there and all of my loyal subscribers. Some of you have been with me for all six years, and I just thank you endlessly. You're the people that make me keep making these very videos. So, before I keep rambling on forever, let's get started with the first episode of Season 5. Here we go! He's the Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire. And the things you do, you can do, if you so desire. Do try this at home with Mr. G. Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home! Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today on Do Try This at Home, we're going to be having a lot of fun. We're going to be messing around with Lenses Law again. You might remember that I shot an earlier video out in my backyard by my pond using copper pipe and some magnets dropping down through the pipe. And, um, well, before we go any further, maybe I better tell you what you're going to need to do today's little experiment. You're going to need a marble. Any marble will do. You're going to need... Now, right now I'm going to let you know that this is a metal ball bearing. We'll just call that a metal ball bearing for now. And if you do have a metal ball bearing, that'll be coming in handy, actually. You're going to need a piece of... Whoa, don't get away from me. You're going to be needing a piece of aluminum angle. Now this aluminum angle I purchased for like $2.50 at my local hardware store. So you can pick this up at like a home, home improvement store, a hardware store, pretty much anywhere. Um, and I've got some little caps, rubber caps. I don't know where I got them. You can use black electrical tape if you don't have these, but I like to slide them over the end of this angled aluminum. It's just a, there we go. It's just a piece of aluminum angle and I slide them over the end so I don't get cut because it is sharp. And of course, the marble rolls away. Okay. Now, Lenz's Law tells us, Lenz's Law basically states that if you take a magnet and you pass it, pass the conductive material or through like a coil, that you generate a current that's in direct opposition to the direction of the magnetic force that's going past it or through it. So, we can actually demonstrate this lens's law. We can demonstrate it in a really shocking manner, something that's going to kind of like blow people's minds. You can, you can use this kind of to freak people out too, because it is pretty freaky. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I might as well let you off the hook right away. This isn't just a ball bearing. This is a neodymium magnet. It's a powerful, round magnet. You can pick these up online. We've talked about this a million times in other episodes. You can find these online for like this is like a 50 cent knife, it's not a big deal. Um, I've been noticing too that some of the home improvement stores have been carrying neodymium magnets as well. So maybe we're gonna get lucky and be able to pick them up just about anywhere. And let's see if this thing will stay still. Okay, what I wanna show you first is, this piece of aluminum, to start with, isn't magnetic. So the magnet, I'll show you from a better angle, just rolls right out of the aluminum channel, right into my hand, just like, the marble just rolls right out into my hand. Now, if I take the marble in the channel though, look at this. Okay, you see that? It just rolls real freely, right? I barely even have to angle it. It just rolls back and forth. But, even though this is not magnetic, again, magnet falls right out into my hand. Watch what happens if I take and turn it up. Where does this go? How is it possible that it's going this slow, but it's not even magnetic? Now, if I, if I angle it like I was with the, with the marble, look at this. 
it's rolling so slow, it's like it never even wants to get the other one. Yet, it's not magnetic at all. If I put it on this side, it'll roll right off. It won't, it won't stay at all. So, how does it do that? You can even get some almost zero gravity effects with this as well. And if you have a flat piece of aluminum, that'll work too. It has to be a little bit wider so it doesn't roll off the side, but you can just angle that and roll your magnet down the flat piece of aluminum. Now watch this. I'm going to get a little bit closer here. And I'm going to turn it up really almost, it's almost like it's defined gravity, isn't it? I'll do that again from this one and we'll try to get it so it's free falling. Look at that. It wasn't even touching. Do it back here so you see the whole drop. It's not even touching. Well, it fell right out. I guess you can't go more than straight up and down. Let me find my magnet here. Ah, oh, there it is amongst all the cat and dog here. Okay, now I'm all covered with hair. But anyways, that's it. That is Lenz's Law in action. I hope everybody gives this a try. I hope you have fun with it. Look at that, it just basically looks to just defy gravity. It is really cool and really interesting. You can blow a lot of people's minds with this little trick. And I'll tell you what, it's not very expensive to find all of these parts, like I said, at your local home improvement store. I hope that everybody visits my blog, www.mindlessmirth.com. That's M-I-N-D-L-E-S-S-M-I-R-T-H.com. And also check out mrgme.com. That's M-R-G-M-E.com. Hope you had a great time today on Do Try This at Home. Stick around for the outtakes. I'm Mr. G, and I'll see you right here next time on Do Try This at Home. That magnet entering or going past that conductive device, whether it's a coil, whether it's just a piece of conductive metal. And of course, my cell phone rings as always. You guys are used to this because it happens every time. Hold on one second. I'll be back with you in just a second. Yo. So if you're ready, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more. Never mind. Let's hmm. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more. What?